Okay, YouTube. Opening up my new inverter. I went on the setup for this one. I wanted to get the one with the power limiter, but they was moving their their shop, so this is what they had in stock, and I was tired of waiting. But they got this thing here super fast. They shipped it out on a Monday. And I got this thing Friday. It's the Sun G 2000 watt. Let's get it out of the box here. Came with the power cord. This is where the power comes out of the batteries. I'm going off my batteries. I'm not coming directly off my solar panel. I want to come off my solar panels into my charge controller, into my batteries, and then I'm going to pull it out of the batteries. And this is where the power cord plugs into right here. Got your LED display right here. That's going to tell you your volts of the batteries and I believe it's going to tell you the amps and the watts that is pulling uh, I'm using this here to kind of offset my power usage for my central air unit I'm going to have this where it only comes on when the central air unit comes on and then when the central air unit goes off this unit will shut off so it will offset my power usage where I will actually be running off of this power instead of running off of the utility power. And on days where it's um, not making as much power or, you know, at nighttime, it'll pull off the batteries to the next day. And when the next day comes, it'll charge the batteries back up in between the central air unit being off and it's coming on it should have time to charge the batteries back up. But this unit here is uh, 45 to 90 DC volts coming in here, and it's uh, 230 uh, volts coming out AC into the power grid. It's capable of supplying 1,900 watts consistent and 2,000 watts uh, for, I, I don't know how long, but it can supply up to 2,000 watts. You got your fans here. These, these suck in. Then you got another fan right here where it blows the hot air out. Uh, here's the, the sticker, which you can get in. And there you go. It says AC output power 1900 watts max 2000 watts. It's uh, 230 volt AC coming out at 46 to 65 hertz. And they're stackable, so you can add another one. But I'm hoping that this should be enough to supply enough power to keep it from sucking power out of my power grid. This should be enough to supply the power for my central air unit. Then I don't have to worry about running the batteries dead or anything. I'm going to put a solenoid in between the batteries and the inverter and I'm going to use one of the little digital charge control timers to where once the battery get down to a certain voltage it won't discharge the batteries all the way it'll just shut the power off to this until the batteries charge back up so this is going to be pulling on a 48 volt dc battery bank 
So I, I got to change all my solar panels and my charge controller over to 48 volts. Right now I'm running 24 volts. So I try to get some video as I'm changing that over to 48 volts and getting all of this hooked up. But thanks for watching.